Ford presents The Cure for Dull Driving. Apparently, Ford felt that dull driving was a sickness in need of a cure, so when they marketed the 1969 Ford Torino GT, they were sure to point out that the car was anything but dull. Like all automakers, Ford wanted to captivate younger new car buyers, and the promise of driving excitement fun was the ticket to the game. This 69 Torino not only boasts a fun-inducing power convertible top, it's got 428 cubic inches of happy pill under the hood. High-performance car fans had tons of wicked cars to choose from in 1969, so automakers had to step up their game to compete. Ford offered the Torino, the Torino GT, and Cobra all on the same platform but delivering different levels of performance and luxury. The base engine for the Torino GT was a two-barrel, 220 horsepower 302, but this one came stuffed with the top option 428 Cobra Jet V8, complete with a Ram Air package and a four-speed stick. This Cobra Jet convertible uses a fully functional open-air hood scoop to feed the 10.6 to 1 428 V8. And that makes 335 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque at just 3,400 RPM. And what that means to you is that you get behind the wheel, you put the top down, you rev it up, dump the clutch, and get a whole new hairstyle. When the 428 Cobra Jet hit the streets, everyone wondered why the horsepower rating seemed a bit low compared to the specs of the engine. A fairly high compression big block with a performance camshaft, high flowing air intake manifold and carb and dual exhaust should surely make over 335 horsepower. Especially when the lesser 390 cube version was only down 15 horsepower from that. Well, it turns out that Ford seemed to have intentionally misled the world with its claims, specifically the National Hot Rod Association. You see, NHRA racing was hugely popular, and weekend NHRA winners sold lots of cars on Monday. And the NHRA used a formula of vehicle weight and engine size to determine the racing class of a particular car. Ford wanted the Mustang 428 Cobra Jets to do well, so they fudged the numbers a bit, giving the Mustangs an advantage. However, once stock 428 Cobra Jet Mustangs started running far faster quarter mile times than the power to weight formula suggested, the NHRA made some rule book adjustments. But Ford kept their power rating from the start, and the 428 Cobra Jet in our Torino GT is rated at 335, when everybody knew it was probably closer to 400 than 335. A great source of information about these old Fords is the report you can get from Marty Auto Works, and they have data on many of these cars from the 60s. And the report on this car says, of the 386,366 1969 Fairlanes and Torinos built, 2,552 of them were Torino GT convertibles. Of those, 54 came with the 428 Cobra Jet V8 under the hood, and of those, 28 came with the four-speed manual transmission. Two of those were painted champagne gold, and one had a white vinyl bench seat. And this is that car. Even without a Marty report, it's clear that this 69 Torino GT is more than just a big engine. GTs rolled on 14-inch styled steel wheels and stopped with optional front disc brakes. The ride is firm with the GT handling package consisting of stiffer springs and matched shocks and an oversized front sway bar. Dual exhaust rumbles up and over the 9-inch rear axle housing and out the back, uh, but these turndowns on this car are not original. Exterior styling for the GT was overall pretty tame, uh, although it did have that functional hood scoop. But the white interior, top, and stripes added some zing to the sea of champagne gold. 
Torino's offered more room than Mustangs, and this GT dash is clean and informative. It's a bit weird that there's a red line on the speedometer and not the tack, but the clock still works in this one, which we always dig. You could pick AM or FM for the tunes, but in this case, the drop top was the only AC. The door panels read Grand Touring, and the four-speed shifter wears a Shelby-like striped ball on the stick. A glance at the expansive white bench seat interior, and you might guess this is a sleepy luxury ride and not a high-performance road machine. If so, well, you guess wrong. Ford Advertising targeted the youth market when they rolled this one out back in 69. What do you think? If you were a 20-something with a few bucks in your pocket, would you have sprung for a sweet Torino like this? I bet I would have. You'll find more cars like this on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com. And we'll be back next time with another cool car from the Brothers Collection. We'll see you then.